I have I have Rimuru with me tonight. I hope you're all ready. For those on Discord, I hope you're excited. Four minutes and 28 seconds left for the fifth Anime Trading Awards here, live on Twitch and Facebook. Thank you all for joining. You can join the discussion on discord.gg slash anitrends, A-N-I-T-R-E-N-D-Z. See you in four minutes. I've returned with a seal now. We have a seal now, guys. I hope you're ready. This lovely seal is with us now. It has a name. Does it? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're at hot mic, by the way. Exactly. I am... Fifteen seconds, guys. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Main event's really good. Eight, seven, six, five, four.
Hello everyone and welcome to the 5th Anime Training Awards here live on both Facebook and Twitch. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Glad to see that you're all able to make it tonight. I am Noobles, the co-owner of Anime Training, as well as your host tonight's 45th Anime Training Awards live stream, along with our writer Dio, as well as a moderator. We're live tonight on both Facebook and Twitch, alongside our Discord server, voice channel party that's occurring right now. If you haven't joined yet, discord.gg slash anitrends, A-N-I-T-R-E-N-D-Z. And there's currently a giveaway going on throughout the live stream, and more to come as well. Tonight is a celebration of the best 2018 anime, with over 25 plus categories here. We hope to touch upon the variety of anime we've been able to witness this year alone. Anime has grown significantly since Anime Training was founded in 2013, but we hope tonight that we can highlight some of the best of 2018, but also the various opinions and voices from you, the fan. Over 33,000 votes were participated in Anime of the Year alone, and on behalf of Anime Training team, thank you. It's amazing to see the various communities, fandom, and fans voting and championing their favorite anime characters of, of course, couples and ships, both on social media and abroad. With over 180 anime series released in 2018 alone, we have a rich variety of nominees for each category. In doing our best to highlight all 25 plus categories, we have boiled down the top 10 animes, no, I'm sorry, top 10 nominees for each category. And without further ado, we will begin with our first category, Best Short Anime. Nominees for these categories are animes that are shorter than your usual TV anime series, often ranging from 5 minutes to 15 minutes per episode. Without again, here are your nominees for Short Anime. Wherever it went. And those are your nominees for Short Anime of the Year, and of course the winner goes to... Here are your top three Short Animes of the Year, so give you your votes with My Sweet Tyrant winning number one. With Skull Face bookseller Hanasan not too far behind with just shy of 19 votes since third place going to One Room Season 2. And the next category is Drama Anime of the Year. And once again, those are your nominees for Drama Anime of the Year, and the winner for Drama Anime of the Year will go to... And the top results for the Drama nominees will be released on Anime Trending's websites. For all the full Anime Trending awards nominees as well as the respective positions will be released here on Anime Trending. Go to the website anitrendz.net slash ATA and also follow us on Facebook that gives you all the information as well as the winners that will be announced tonight. Uh, those are your top two categories so far. Next category will be Comedy Anime. Obviously with comedy get some laughs and giggles throughout the season so here again your nominees for Comedy Anime of the Year.
And the winner for Comedy Anime of the Year will be going to... Asobi Asobes. Base. Base. Thank you. Here are the results for the Comedy Anime of the Year. First place going to Asobi. Asobase. <laughs> Thank you. I am fortunately not very good with certain anime titles. Second place going to Zombieland Saga. Third place, Grand Blue. Respectively, 4,794 votes for Asobi Asobi. Asobase. Thank you. Fourth place will be going to Wotokoi. Love is hard for otaku. Fifth place going to Hinomatsuri. And sixth place, Cells at Work. Seven place going to Kara uh, Tagagi-san. Eighth place Pop Team Epic, and ninth place Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Tenth place going to Late Back Camp. Eleventh that time I got reincarnated as a slime, and twelfth boarding school. Thirteenth place going to school babysitters, fourteen comic girls, and fifteen Tata never falls in love here on the comedy anime of the year category. How are the no these are your nominees so far here on Anime Training's fifth Anime Training Awards? Next category is Mecha Sci-Fi. We've combined the two categories since not all seasons will have Mecha Mecha anime, but of course we have some Sci-Fi shows as well. Here are your nominees for Mecha and Sci-Fi Anime of the Year. nominees again for Mecha and Sci-Fi Anime Year, and the winner for Mecha and Sci-Fi Anime is... Once again, those are the Mecha and Sci-Fi Anime of the Year winner is going to SSS Grid Band. First place at 4,764 votes. Second place going to Darn the Franks at 4,614 votes. And third place, Steins Gate Zero at 3,519 votes. Once again, winner is SSSS, excuse me, SSSS Gridman. Fourth place going to Sword Online Alternative Gun Gale Online. And fifth place is Planet With. Here are your nominees for Best in Adaptation.
And your winner for best in adaptation, which goes to animes that do well in terms of animation from their source material, goes to... Rascal Bunny, Does Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Go Senpai wins the best in adaptation. And here are your t uh, category results winners for best in adaptation. First place going to Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, 5,643 votes. Second place, not too far behind, is That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. And third is Banana Fish. I'd have to give a shout out to the Banana Fish community who were very active in voting for their favorite shows as well as the characters. Fourth place, going to Bloom Into You at 5,115 votes. Fifth place, Walter Koi Love is Hard for an Otaku. And sixth is My Academia Season 3. Here for best in adaptation for those that have anime series that highlight on terms of their source material. Seventh place, going to Sword Online Alicization at 4,777 votes. Still an ongoing anime right now, but came out in 2018. Eighth place, Steins Gate Zero. And ninth place, Laid Back Camp. Tenth place going to Tagagi san with 11 at Hinamatsuri and 12th the other Sword Online that came out this year, Sword Online Alternative Gun Gale Online at 2,840 votes. Like 13th place going to Grand Blue, 14 Angels of Death, which was originally a video game, and 15th Citrus. Sixteen place going to Run with the Wind, seventeen Golden Kamoi, and eighteen School Babysitters. And lastly, nineteenth is Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Dinoya Tezu. Thank you, Dinoya Tezu, the recent reboot of Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Those are your first few categories here on the 5th Anime Trending Awards. What are your thoughts so far, James? Uh, well, first of all, I have to be loud because I'm a little bit further away from the mic. But, um, I think a lot of the award winners this year deserved the awards that they got. There's a couple I disagree with, um, but overall, I'm pleased with how the results have been. Excellent. Before we take on a short break to catch our breaths, we'll be now announcing the top five male finalists. And again, these are no particular. Here are your top five males in no particular. These are your nominees on the left-hand side. We'll now be slowly announcing a top five finalists for Man of the Year, and of course, Girl of the Year and Anime of the Year later throughout the night. So your first nominee for your first, sorry, your first male finalist is Sakura from Rascal, Bun Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Second one is Ash Links from Banana Fish. And again, these are in no particular order, just the top five finalists as we will be announcing the top five, three, and top two throughout the night. Your third finalist is Isaac Foster from Angels of Death. And your fourth four finalist is Kotaro Tatsumi from Zombie Land Saga. And lastly, your last finalist is Rimuru Tempest from That Time I Got Reincar Reincarnated as a Slime. And again, these are your top 10 finalists in the end of the year in no particular order. Thoughts so far in the top 10 finalists? I honestly, I hope Ash wins. <laughs> That's my thought. Uh, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there because Mamoru Miyano is the greatest voice actor I have ever listened to. And if Tatsuru, uh, Kotaro Tatsumi doesn't win, uh, you all did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we'll be announcing the top 5 Girl of the Year after our um, in the next segment, again, we'll be taking a short break to catch our breath. Uh, don't go too far. Here's our first three-minute break. We'll see you back real soon.
Welcome back to the fifth Anime Trending Awards here on Anime Trending. We're also live on Facebook and Twitch. Thank you all for joining us. It's uh, very exciting to see some people joining us here live tonight. We have almost 260, it's 277 of you on Twitch and almost nearly 500 of you on Facebook combined. Almost, not quite a thousand, hopefully we can reach a thousand tonight. But of course we have a long awards, lots of categories and lots of anime to spotlight so far. Any comments, James, before we continue to our next category, which is character design? Uh, I had no expectation this many people would be watching the show. <laughs> uh, likewise as well, we're really blessed to have so many people compared to last year. It's been an awesome journey on behalf of the Amateur Training team again. Thank you. We're also live to meeting the results. If you miss any of the winners from the past categories, we will check the categories on Twitter. You'll be able to check out Twitter on the bottom of the Twitch channel, or you can check out our Twitter at Anime Trending. Without further ado, our next category for Best in Character Design. And again, those are your nominees for Best in Character Design. Any predictions, James, before we proceed to the winner? Uh, I think the shows that have ensembles of characters are much more likely to win, so I'd say Zombieland Saga or JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Alrighty, we'll see if you are correct. The winner for Best in Character Design goes to... Violet Evergarden. Violet Evergarden wins Best in Character Design from Kyoto Animation. Character designer, designer Akiko Takase. I was very wrong. <laughs> here, here are your results for the best in character designs. So Zombie Saga was close. I was second, close. You're second place at 6,250 votes. But the winner is Violet Evergarden at 6,409 votes. I do have to say, Violet's shirt was pretty and the dress and all different people probably definitely a topic for many people. Third place does go to Cells at Work. Fourth place, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Fifth place, Jojo Bizarre Adventure. Uh, part 5, Golden Wind. And sixth place is... Laid back camp. Seventh place for your best in character design is Boarding School Juliet. Eighth place, Goblin Slayers. And ninth, Angels of Death. Oh. Uh -huh. There we go. 10th place, SSSS Gridman, 11, SAO Alternative Gun Gale Online, and 12th is Persona 5 The Animation. Fun story with Persona 5 The Animation that James and I had had the chance to interview both the director and producer, only to have them ask me if I played the game, and I have yet to do that, which I probably should. This is James' character. Indeed. 13th, pla 13th place going to Hinamatsuri, 14th Card Capture Sakura Clear Card Arc, and 15th Gun Kamui. Sixteenth place goes to How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. Seventeenth, Uma Musume Pretty Derby, and eighteenth, Lost Range Conflated White Sauce. White Sauce? Uh, I don't actually know how that one is pronounced. Close enough. Words are hard. Words are indeed very hard. So again, that was your character designer winner going to Violet Evergarden, and the next category will be. The best in sceneries and visuals. Again, that highlights the sceneries and visuals such as the landscape as well as the background art for the anime. 
Here are your nominees for Best in Sceneries and Visuals. And again, those are your nominees for best in sceneries and visuals. Any prediction, James? Um, that's a good question, and I think it'll probably end up being Violet Evergarden or a place further in the universe, uh, because those kind of like sweeping landscapes uh, generally are more appealing than the harsh city of Banana Fish. I do enjoy Banana Fish, but again, we'll see who the winner is for the vi best scenery and visual we'll be going to. So you're correct, Violet Evergarden does win Best in Sceneries and Visuals. No surprise by Kyoto Animation with its beautiful animations. First place going to, again, Violet Evergarden here for Best in... I'm That's sorry, character design. design! I'm so sorry. Aha! We are... We are slowly... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, so sorry. I will definitely go fix that issue once we get it resolved. Some slight technical difficulties Slight right technical difficulties for Sceneries and Visuals. Well... At least he knows Violet Evergarden, I will go fetch that video. But in the meantime, Best in Sports. Here are nominees for Best in Sports on Anime Trending. Apologies for the slight technical issues, let us backtrack to the scene and visuals results. Again, first place going to Violet Evergarden, second, Iroduku, or Iruzuku, the world in colors, and third, a place further than a universe. There we go, two out of three ain't bad. No surprise with Violet Evergarden. Oh yeah, towards. not really. The <laughs> It looks too good. Violet Evergarden is really good. I'm really looking forward to a lot of cute animation animes this year. And next, fourth place going to Laidback Camp, fifth Attack on Titan Season 3, and sixth Bloom Into You by Studio Troika. Fifth was by Studio Wits. Uh, these anime respectively had very good anime sceneries and visuals without a doubt. 17,220 votes were cast for this category alone. That's quite a few. Seventh place, going to Banana Fish, of course. A lot, 5,211 people did enjoy the scenery from that. So as I work with this very, uh, CGI as well as interpretation of the human body coming in 8th place. Very liberal interpretation of the human body. Very liberal interpretation with ninth place going to Tata Never Falls in Love. 10th place, Sudane, also by I believe Kyoto Animation. And 11th, Hinamatsuri, 12th, Fate Extra Last Encore, your favorite uh, anime. I, I really enjoyed Fate Extra Last Encore. Um, 
The studio shaft makes interesting backgrounds, uh, because they like to blur it a lot in order to put focus on the characters, but, uh... Oh, I put the wrong Good one. to see them. And, uh, coming Those... in at 13th, or whatever it was... <laughs> to make some slight adjustments because we'll proceed to sports anime. Alright, sports, the one show that I don't watch. Unfortunately, you don't watch sports, but the winner for sports category is... Megalobox. Megalobox. Punching Anime Part 2. Uh, I actually did watch some of Megalobox, uh, and what I saw I did enjoy, for, which is uh, odd for someone like me who has no, not an athletic bone in his body. Though Megalobox definitely captivated a lot of fans throughout the globe because it was the 50th anniversary celebration of Ashida no Jo. Second place going to Hanabato at 4,732 votes, and third place Run with the Win. If you're missing any of the full results, we'll be releasing them here on Anime Trending. Don't worry, we'll have them all ready for you coming very soon on the websites. Fourth place going to Free Dive into the Future. Fifth, Surune, and sixth, Harukana Received. Percy, I enjoyed Harukana Received, so. It looked really interesting. Um, Had some good soundtracks, so we'll see how it does for best in soundtrack. Yes, we will see. Seventh place going to Anima Yell. I mispronounced the scene of people saying Anime Yell, but it's a pretty cute cheerleading anime. All right. And again, those were your results for Sports Anime of the Year here on the 5th Anime Training Awards. Next category is Best Ensemble. So Best Ensemble is a new category that we've introduced here in Anime Trending. We've decided to take more in-depth behind the voice actors as well as the voice actresses that are involved behind the anime and try and factor how they convey and be very passionate with those characters. We had fortunate experts that have been following the scene quite closely who have been helping here on Anime Trending. So. Any predictions before we get to the nominees? Uh, I still don't entirely understand how it works. How does this differ from Best Voice Acting Performance Solo? Is this collectively as a group? Correct. So Best Ensemble is collectively as a group. We do have the category for Best Voice, voice Actor as well as Voice Actress Solo for their respective characters, while Ensemble factors in all the various characters as well as the cast itself. Okay, so this is collectively in an anime or collectively, collectively as like a Collectively in group? an anime okay. as well as a group. Without further ado, here are your nominees for Best in Ensemble. Again, those are your nominees for Best in Ensemble. The winner goes to... Place for the Universe wins for Best Ensemble with such an incredibly large cast, I would have to say. When I was first announced, I was very surprised so many oh, of those characters. Oh, very, very high-profile voice actors working on this one. To be honest, we're missing Revue Starlight. <laughs> uh, yeah, the chat, the chat has been going on about Revue Starlight. I think it definitely should have been included, probably because this year is the first year that we have the Best in Ensemble award. Uh, we're still shaking out how we're nominating those and working a few kinks out, but I think Starlight would definitely... Sh it should have been included, and I think if it had been, it would have been a very strong contender for winner. I would definitely agree as well. Fourth place going to Rascal, Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Fifth place with Banana Fish and six. Darling the Franks with a very large cast as well. There's like ten important people. Lots of important show. people in that show as well. Seventh place going to Goblin Slayer. Eighth, Sword Online, Alternative Gun Gale Online. And ninth, Grand Blue. 
a lot of these animes have a lot of large protagonist casts, which is one thing we wanted to highlight. So definitely something, uh, continued improvements as well here on Anime Trending. And if you have any feedback, don't hesitate to tweet at us as we're here for you to commute. This is all your votes. 10th place going to SSS Gridman, 11, Megalobox, and 12, Run With The Win. I'm very, I'm very happy with how this, how this uh, particular award has panned out. Uh, again, with the exception of Starlight, but uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. In the third place, going to Card Capture Soccer Clear Card Art. Fourteen Hakata Tonkatsu Ramen, which has nothing to do with ramen, and fifteen The Girl in Twilight. We have quite the history with uh, Hakata Tonkatsu Ramen, if I do say so myself. That was an interesting show. Uh, I had an interesting and fun time. Oh. Uh, watching it for my reviews, but uh, I did not expect what I got when I watched it. I don't think anyone did as well. Here, 16th place going to Legend of the Galactic Heroes with, again, a lot of very strong casts. This is a kind of a super group there for Legend of the Galactic Heroes. So many different plot lines and character arcs going on at the same time. Uh, if you watch the original one, it's it's almost... It, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> Quite amazing how they tie everything together. Quite amazing, quite a mess. But again, that was your best ensemble. Before we take a quick break to make some adjustments, we'll be going down to t countdown for the top five females. We've done the top five males. Are you ready for the top five female countdown? Yes, the most hotly contested uh, award because best girl is always <laughs> it's a point of argument for any anime fan. Again, on the left are your. Uh, potential finalists. First panelist is Zero Two from Diana Franks. I think that's no surprise. I am not surprised at all. Very, second is actually Karen or Len from Sword Online Alternative Gunja Online. Definitely uh, very cool to see that because I don't think many people expected that. Third is going to Historia. Okay, Historia definitely shined this year. So. I don't watch Attack on Titan. I watch Attack on Titan and Attack on Titan community as well as the Wikipedia Wiki, sorry, Wiki page. Definitely very active. I'm Why Evergarden? Taking the fourth slot for a top ten finalist. Also not surprised. <laughs> Who's the last one? Do you think? <laughs> Again, Ma not surprised. My son from Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai takes the final slots. Again, these are your top ten finalists. In oops, excuse me, no particular o top five finalists in no particular order Thank out of you. the ten that were nominated to begin with. Exactly. So, so now it's a fight between these five. And we'll be boiling, boiling it down to the top three and top two throughout the night. So look forward to that. And with the top one finalists, Girl of the Year, we will take a quick break to recollect our uh, share your thoughts. Again, you can tweet us out at hashtag ATA2019 or you can join us on Discord at discord.gg slash antitrends for discussion. And when we return, we will be going into the category for fantasy and magical. Look forward to that. See you soon. All right.
Mods are <laughs> <and> <laughs> That's kind of what you get from residents sleeping spam on Twitch. If Welcome, welcome back. back. Oh, I'm hijacking this show. I'm going to be talking about things now. Uh, welcome back to the Anime Awards after our brief break. We hope that you enjoyed the minutes of silence punctuated by the occasional jump scare. Uh, it's time for our next award, which is Fantasy or Magical Anime of the Year. We bundled them together because we wanted to. Again, the, oh. Again, those were your nominees for Fantasy and Magical Anime. Any predictions, James? Uh, that is a good question. It'll probably be a sort of... I would say, actually, uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. That probably fits in. It, despite being an isekai, it is probably one of the most classic uh, fantasy shows. Maybe Goblin Slayer after that? Well, it is a little bit darker and grittier. It is basically a Dungeons & Dragons campaign. I'm surprised that Violet Evergarden is on there, because it is not magical at all. And uh, the li the problems of people in their daily lives is not uh, fantasy either. Well, it is fantasy enough in our terms of view. But without further ado, the winner for fantasy magical goes to. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Yes. Definitely uh, enjoying that anime right now. I'm I'm having a good time with it. Also, it's definitely a good fantasy and magical show for sure. And again, here are your results for the fantasy and magical anime of the year. First place going to that time ago in Kinds of Slime. Second, actually Violet Evergarden because <laughs> people are enjoying Violet Evergarden. Third, Iroduku, uh, Iro The World in Colors or Iroduku. Uh, that show is definitely really pretty, so I can see that following along the fantasy and magical line. Fourth place going to Sword Online Alicization. Fifth, Attack on Titan Season 3 in its fantasy world. And sixth place, Isekai Overlord 2018. All right, the, these are all shows. <laughs> uh, it's interesting to see Goblin Slayer down there at seventh place. Uh, I would have expected to be a little bit higher up. Eighth, we'll be going to Card Capture Sucker Clear Car Clear Card Arc, and ninth, A Certain Magical Index Season Three. Uh, uh, magicals in the title for that one. It's been a while since uh, A Certain Magical Index came out, so Season Three, well, welcome. 
10th place going to rec record our Grand Crest War 11th, Kake. Excuse me. Bed and Breakfast for Spirits, 12th Dragon Pilot. He's still named Masutang with the dragons that control our aircraft. Dragon Pilot, great, en great ending theme. I know that that's not the award we're talking about, but I am a sucker for that little French bop, I tell you what. And we'll be getting to that category in the end of the stream, so don't worry about that. Next category, Slice of Life Anime of the Year. Those are your winner. Those are sorry. Those are your nominees for slice of slice of life anime of the year. I got ahead of myself. Any predictions before we go ahead? Uh, before we go ahead, I like Wotokoi because workplace comedy is one of my favorite genres, and I think it is. Slice of life is basically the only thing you can do for workplace comedies, unless you have a really strange job. Um, Fair enough. But the winner will be actually going to Cells at Work. Cells at Work. A Cells at Work could be considered a workplace comedy. It's talking about work. It's in the title. I'm not wrong! <laughs> You're definitely not wrong. The Souls of Work does win the Slice of Life anime category here on Anime Trending. Here are your results. Coming in in first place, Cells at Work. Alright, for our next category will be soundtrack nominees. Here are nominees for soundtrack. Best in um, soundtrack. <laughs> Alright, best in soundtrack. I love this category. As a guy that's played trumpet for too many years, I absolutely... ぶら切り者にあたっぷりを給与する。目的は勝った。なんで答えは知らないでいいか。いい。ここからはお前一人だ。頼んだぜ。ジョーカー。何やってんの？ I'm 
Benedikt. Those are your nominees for Best in Soundtrack. Any predictions before we get ahead? Uh, Revue Starlight should win it. I don't know if it will. I would go for My Academia because I love My Academia soundtrack. But I winner, don't watch My Hero Academia. I'm sorry, but a winner is actually... Zombieland Saga! All right, I'll take that! Again, those are your nominees for, uh, that's your winner actually for Best in Soundtrack. That goes in terms of the soundtrack that we have here on Anime Trending's 5th Anime Trending Award. Second place does go to Attack on Time by uh, Sawana-san. I love the soundtrack. Third, actually Violet Evergarden as well. They have a pretty good soundtrack in terms of those emotions. It's moments. very good at uh, making a lot of emotions at once, very much so. Fourth place going to Banana Fish. Fifth, a place for the universe. And sixth, Rev Starlight. There's your Rev Starlight, guys. It's too low. <laughs> it's too low. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. It's okay. Next category is Music and Anime of the Year. We'll see if Rev Starlight can win it for you guys. Let's see. Woo! Or will it go to Zombieland Saga? We'll find out. I would be okay with Zombieland Saga too. Of course you would. Seventh place. Ah, oh, My Hero Academia season three for me. Eighth, Release the Spice and nine, Persona Five: The Animation. Yeah, I love the Persona Five soundtrack. Like it's 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 pretty good. The Persona, uh, having played. 11 hours of Persona 5 in the last, like, three days. I am a big fan of the soundtrack. And I have not played it, which I probably should. Tenth place going to Sword Online, uh, Online Alicization. Very fitting soundtrack. Eleventh going to Darn the Franks. And twelfth, Late Back Camp. Very comfy soundtracks, though. I, I did enjoy the soundtracks coming from that show. Thirteenth place going to Goblin Slayer at 2,060 votes. Fourteen stands to zero, and fifteen Sword Online Alternative Gun Gale Online, which I recently found out where the soundtrack was because they bundled it with the Blu-ray. So looking forward to that shipment coming soon. Oh, so you got to get the Blu-ray in order to get the soundtrack? I believe so. Yes. Ooh, it's a good soundtrack though. I did enjoy it. Sixteenth going to The Piano Forest. Seventeenth Run with the Wind. Eighteenth going Kamui. Again, we only showed the top 10 nominees, just to boil down to all the categories, but here's our, the full results are every single anime that was nominated for this category. Quite we'll a few nominations. Indeed, because there are a lot of great soundtracks this year. 19th is Sirius the Jaeger and 20, all oh, Legend of Galactic Heroes, Sawano. Well, he got second place for Attack on Titan. There we go. Legend of Galactic Heroes has been consistently the last <laughs> one to, like, show up in these, in these awards. Uh, which is both good and bad. It's good that it's getting nominated for all of them, which means it, you know, may, it's a cut above everything else. It's the worst of the best. <laughs> one way to look at it. Next category, Music Anime of the Year. So any animes that are involved with music. Review Starlight. Review Starlight, there you go, as well as Zombieland Saga. Here are your nominees for Music Anime of the Year. Those were your nominees. Those were your nominees for Music Anime of the Year. Any predictions before we proceed? Uh, sure there, well, there were only three, so uh, I can name you the top three. Uh, as for the order, I want Review Starlight to be first and Zombieland Saga to be second because those are the two that I actually watched. Uh, and while I love the music and songs from both of them, I prefer the more classical style of Review Starlight than the idol music that is in Zombieland Saga. Well, the winner is going to Zombieland Saga. I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, this was an amazing show, and had some pretty good insert, tr uh, insert tracks though as well. Absolutely, uh, it's the one idol show that I actually enjoy. I'm so sorry, Revy Starlet fans came in. That's the original anime of the year title slide. I have messed up once again. So sorry. Please hold. <sighs> it's been a long evening here at Anime Trending Headquarters, which is my room. Floating uh, in the ocean, the deep <laughs> underground deep sea moon base of Anime Trending. We don't see the sun. It's been a very long time coming with this awards and definitely a lot of exciting stuff that happens here. It's both a hobby and as well as enjoyment for us, so there are issues that come here and there, but I do apologize. We'll get that fixed. 
So, I think we'll step ahead into the top three. Top three. Top How's three that? male and female countdown. Okay, do we also get to talk about ships? We'll be talking about ships at the end of the night, don't worry. Okay, my favorite ships are the ones like oil tankers and cargo ships. <laughs> I appreciate your sense of humor. Unfortunately, those ships are not the ships we're talking about. We're talking about couples and ships. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're ready for your top three male and girl of the year finalists. Again, these are in no particular order. Those were your top five respectively. You had a top five announced earlier this night. And your first finalist for both cate categories, Ash Lynx, taking here for Man of the Year, and my my son taking the Girl of the Year finalist. Two more slots to go. Sakuta, so Rascal Bunny could take away both of them. We'll see. It did very well, could. And Violet Evergarden taking the second finalist slot. Again, these are no particular order; these are just the finalists. We'll be announcing the winner and the top two later. And there you go, Kota there he Kotsi. is. There he ah! is. And Historia from Attack on Titan is your last finalist here on Anime Journey. These are, your, again, your top three finalists, Anime of the Year. And I believe we'll be taking a sh quick short break so I can go fix the results for Music Anime. And then returning, Best Voice Actress and Voice Actor of the Year. I oh already boy. know who I want to win that one. Of course you do. We'll find out who are going to be the winners for Best Voice Actor and Voice Actress as well as the results for Music Anime of the Year. All right, and also thank you everybody that's so active in our various chats, Twitch and Facebook and Discord. It's been great reading some of your comments, uh, especially the particular one on that one CG anime that none of my friends have watched, but I have, so uh, thank you very much. Thank you very well. We have a staff here who's collecting all your comments, so please continue to flood us with your comments and feedback. Really appreciate it. Again, this is the fifth anime training war, so don't go too far or take a quick short break. And again, best voice actor, voice actress, we're on the final stretch here on Anime Trending. Sorry guys, no Chica dance tonight. I understand that you really want it, but if we danced, then we would have to show our faces, and we can't have the hand cult if we show our faces. The uh, hand cult, for those who aren't familiar, join the Discord channel as people do tend to enjoy different parts of the body that we seem to display throughout the night. Phrasing. Phrasing, yes, phrasing. 30 seconds after the break.
Welcome back here on Anime Trending. Uh, we made the type. Slight error earlier. Here are again your <laughs> results. We found the music anime winners. It does go to Zonland Saga. Second place is Revue Star. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> Second place, Revue Starlight. Third place, Music Girls. Uh, let me fix that. There we go. That went by very fast. I'm so serious because of our chains. What, what Noobles means to say is, we're sorry about those technical difficulties, however, we do not apologize for the results of the actual polls. It's been a long evening here on Anime Trending, I hope you all have a good time. Anyways, voice actress is the next category here, your top voice actress categories. Top 10 finalists for voice acting performance by female. Nominees, here they are. <laughs> ま、私は、家近くてよく遊んだじゃん。ついに来た。最後の難関。何度見てもよくわからない場所。心臓。私。なんか思ってたのと違うけど、でもピンクはピンク。どうする？あの人たち皆さんだけじゃない。みんなに
best voice actor will be going to. Come on. Yes! Mamoru Miyano. He 100% deserved that. Again, those are your... Just look at that smile. <laughs> those are your results for best voice acting performance male, best voice actor. Second place going to Yuma Uchida. Third, Kaito Ishikawa. These nominees were presented from a anime training staff who has been closely following the seiyuu scene very closely in Japan, as well as... She, she follows it very closely, to be honest. Uh, she gets get to the nitty gritty, especially these voice actors, and how much effort they put into voicing out and being these characters. It, the passion for their craft is honestly astounding. And Mamoriano definitely very good this year. I, I will admit though, uh, part of his performance in Zombieland Saga very much makes me feel like they just put him in a booth and let him do whatever the heck he wanted. <laughs> to be honest, I would not be surprised if that is the case. Oh, I mean, scripts do have to be followed. Indeed. Again, these are your boy best voice acting performance male, 7, 8, 9 respectively. All of them, though, just stellar, absolutely. Oh, my apologies, that is the wrong button. <laughs> I love the delays on this machine. We'll be getting to the ending theme, but I believe it is time to drumroll our top two finalists for female. Please don't drumroll. Oh my god. You guys are the worst. My legs hurt. Please don't do that again. These people are going to die, and that was a jump scare. Your top two finalists for female for the special artwork that was commissioned by our artist Hakami, who was also behind the mascot. Top two finalists going to Mai and Historia. Any bets on who it could be? Oh, it's gonna be Mai. You think it's, yeah, I think it's Historia, but we'll see. Attack on Titan definitely, the community was very active in terms of deciding who. I will bet you... We're not the... betting money, we're not betting money. Oh, no, I have, I have a currency, I will, never, I will bet you one of these. It's got it's got the face of a very famous person on it. I don't know who. <laughs> That's I will bet you one of those that I am right. He has he gave me a, okay. Well, he gave me a Chinese screen. It's one year with Mao Zedong. Thank you very much. Drum. We will now then announce the top two. Please don't drop it too loud. Top two finalists for male will be going to Ashlings and Tatsumi Kotaro. Oh, I also know who's gonna win this one. And if it's not Tatsumi Kotaro, I will give you. <laughs> One of these pieces of paper with a famous man printed on it. Honestly, I hope it goes to Ash Links. Thank you very much. Uh, Ash Links, the uh, Banana Fish community was very active in supporting Banana Fish, so... Yeah, but I was very active in supporting Zombieland Saga. That is so... very true enough. So again, these are your top two finalists. We have Mai, as well as Historia from Be for Best Girl. And again, we have Tasumi Kotaro and Ash Links from Banana Fish for Best Male, Best Boy. Wow, we're on the home stretch. I still can't believe it. it's been. This has been over two months in the working, collecting votes, four weeks of voting, tallying it up. I mean, it's actually been like a whole year because people have been voting on these awards all every week. That is very true. So again, you guys. So these voters. awards would not be popular. Would not be possible without your participation. So thank you so much. Indeed. So we'll definitely do two more categories, and then we'll take a short break. So. Ending theme song, it's that time, it's to find out, it's the ending theme song. I need to double check who all the nominees are before I tell you who I think should win. No worries. Without further ado, let's let the people at home find out who are the nominees. Here are nominees for ending theme song of the year.
again, those were your nominees for best ending theme. I have, I want to see to see the future win because we got to see the voice actress who actually sang the ending theme song too as well. Uh, I have a question for you there, Noobles. Uh, why is Fly Me to the Star not on one of those? Um, Revy Starlight. Yeah, why is Revy Starlight ED not there? Well, because the nominees were dependent on the people who voted for the best opening ending throughout the season. Fortunately, Revy Starlight did not reach the top. Ah, five. so I'm not out of touch. It's the voters who are wrong. Uh, that is your opinion, but we'll be making some adjustments to actually the soundtrack this year as we are becoming hopefully more active with the soundtrack labels. But without further ado, the winner for any theme song will be going to... <laughs> Going to refrain by Imer. Here are your full category nominees results. Cheers from Cells at Work taking second place and third from SSS Gridman with Youthful Beautiful. I should probably watch Gridman. Gridman is pretty good. Cells at Works and the song Refrain, very, very awesome. I like all of Imer's Amer. Amer. Amer's work, uh, mostly the Fate stuff. Indeed. Fourth place going to Banana Fish's Prayer X. I didn't. Banana Fish's ending was mm, very good. Fifth going to our favorite, personal favorites, to see. Oh, well, my personal favorite, to see the future. And six, Hikata E from Hikari E uh, from, Zombie from Zombieland Saga. Saga. Uh, I'm happy to see Zombieland Saga on the board. Indeed. Seventh place is Prey from Angels, Angels of Death. And eighth, a Sobi Aso based ending was probably the surprise for many people. And ninth is Boogie to use ending. Uh, Asobi Asobase's ending messed with me the same way that Pop Team Epic's opening messed with me, <laughs> which was, I did not expect that when I first watched it. I don't think either of us did. Again, here, 11 at 4th place, ending theme song nom uh, results. Here we only showed the top 10 nominees due to just so many categories there, and we'll be showing the full results available on Anime Trending, so. I'm excited for Steins Gate Zero and Fate Extra Last Encore being on the board at all, because I think both of those songs are great. Indeed. Again, we'll be showing the full- oh, we actually had them all. Hello. I did not realize I had them all. Uh, but now we're switching. starting from the beginning. Starting from the beginning. I apologize. I did not realize we had them all here. For now me. we have to fill time. I'm so sorry. Sing, sing for us, Nubles. I cannot. This is perfect. It's the ending theme awards. What better time to sing than now? I have terrible singing skills, and I still need to learn Japanese. But I apologize for that issue. I did not realize we actually had the additional results for ending theme song of the year. So let's check us through that. Is I believe the opening theme songs only had the top 12 available. But oh, how okay. interesting. Indeed. Again, we'll be releasing the full results on Anime Trending's website, anitrendz.net slash ATA. You can just look up Anime Trending Awards and that's where you'll find out all the full results. You can find us sing on that. Fly Me to the Star, chat says. Yeah, sing Fly Me to the Star. I have no idea how to sing that Have song. you not watched? Oh, we can do it. I, I mean, I've, the, the I don't know the lyrics, I know the melody. The and the I can't harmonize. Great. The melody's great. If we had the rights to it, can we contact Bushiro if we had the rights to it? That'd be great. Uh, I don't know. I'm not the I one with- I do not have Kidani on my speed dial. Oh, <laughs> If only we had speed dial, we totally could sing it on stream without being copyright issues, then Emma Japan give us copyright strikes. Copyright strikes are not good for us. We're not copyright strikes are not good us, for us. But here we are, 13. Oh, oh it just ha -ha. Oh, I've been debated. Oh, wow. That's okay. Here's the opening theme song. Time, to, time to nominate openings. <laughs> Uh, openings, I think, are just as important. Oh. Again, those are your nominees for opening theme song. 
Uh, I want oh, Shiny Days to win. <laughs> you want you want the Jackson Five knockoff? I want the Jackson Five knockoff. I'll tell you who I think should probably win. Uh, I am a big fan of the Wotakoi opening. It's such a fun oh, and really bubbly true. opening, and the sequence that goes along with it is really great. I'm not gonna lie. Most of the time, when I vote for the awards here, I do it purely based on the song and not at all on the opening sequence, which I think is one way to do it. I think, though, that an opening sequence can really elevate a song just as the way that a good song can elevate an opening sequence. Indeed, that's very true. But without further ado, the winner for opening theme song of the year goes to... Kimi no Sei! Kimi no Sei! Kimi no Sei! Kimi no Sei! I demand oohs in the chat right now. I want oohs everywhere. Kimi no Sei, no surprise. Kimi no Sei definitely a very popular song with everyone thinking that it ends with oo. And uh, here are your opening theme songs of the year results. Shiny Days does take second place. Very happy to see that. And third place, Sword Online, Alicization, Synchronized sing, sing, uh, Dancing. Synchronized swords, swords in the opening sequence. Indeed. There you go. With Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kirito. But um, I do enjoy Kimi no Sei. Kimi no Sei is good. It got me listening to the Peggy's overall. Uh, their music reminds me a little bit of early Foo Fighters, which is kind of cool. Uh, Fourth place going to Banana Fish's Found and Lost. Ban uh, Banana Fish getting so close in a lot of these nominees. They're so close to it within the top three or top two. And here in number fourth place, gotta hand it out to the Banana Fish community because they've been awesome. Fighting Gold in fifth place in your personal favorite, Wotakoi, in sixth place. Seventh place going to Veracity by Myth and Roy. I did enjoy Myth and Roy's new opening. I'm enjoying the Boogie Pop opening, yes, very please. Good. Myth and Roy's very great indeed. Eighth place going to Tata Never Falls in Love opening theme song, and nine is. Kokoku, I believe is how you pronounce the anime name. Kokoku. Uh, I have a question, just like uh, with the ending themes. I'll uh, wait until we're done with these, though. And 10th place going to Reme. Reme from Golden Conway 11's Binary Stars by Sawano. And 12th is the Citrus opening. That is uh, another question where the heck is the Zombieland Saga opening? Because that one bumps way more than the Zombieland Saga ending does. Surprisingly, did not get enough votes in the season. I'm so. heartbroken. Don't also worry. Acknowledging Shiny Days lost by a mere eight votes. That is very true. Shiny Days just lose by eight votes. I'm actually every vote counts, ladies and gentlemen. This <laughs> is proof. This is proof that everyone's counting here on Anime Trending that Shiny Days lost by eight points for best opening sequence. Boys and girls, I hope you're ready because this is the final stretch. Next two next two categories. Supporting female girl of the year. Supporting male of the year. Couples and ships. Girl of the year. Man of the year. Anime. Movie of the year, and then of course the anime of the year. We're very close, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you're ready to buckle down, buckle my shoe, and get ready to find out our final stretch here on Anime Trending. We're gonna take a quick break so I can fix this headset so my ears don't pop and uh, don't go too far because top of the top best categories are coming up here on Anime Trending.
Welcome back here on Anime Training, 5th Anime Training Award. We're on the home stretch here with some of the categories here. Uh, oops, excuse me. Support male is support female and male are coming up as our next two categories. So here again, without further ado, your nominees for supporting girl of the year. Oh, are we asking for commentary now? Anzu from Hina Matsuri. First nominee for support girl of the year. Second is Kaede As Azusakawa from Kaede Asuzagawa. Thank you. We're, from names are hard. Names are hard. Ryo Futaba from Rascal Bunny. Two nominees already for Rascal Bunny. I, as as a scientist, I approve of this use of lab equipment. High Elf Archer from Goblin Slayer. Ichigo from Darling the Franks. Yes, I. <laughs> She's my favorite. That's true. Hanako from Wotakoi Love is Hard for Otaku. Again, these are Support Girls of the Year nominees. Hitomi Mishima from Hinamatsuri. Citrus, Matsuro Mizusawa. Platelets from Cell 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 Oh, it's from Attack okay, sorry. Attack. Holy shoot, she's also here for... She's also here, you make it sound like she's the boogeyman. <laughs> oh I no, I she's here! I didn't expect to see her as a, in the support girl, but the Tag Out Tag community is pretty active in terms of that, but... Support girl, who is it going to? Uh, it's up in the air. I can't really feel like I can voice an opinion on this because I haven't watched all the shows that have been... that have nominees. Like, I haven't watched Attack on Titan, I haven't watched... Hinamatsuri, so... Uh, Best girl from and that's final. Our, chat, our, 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 chat, our chat mod Meaty McCheese says that uh, it is Anzu from Hinamatsuri, but we'll see. I think he is incorrect. It is Anzu. Look at that. Part of me wants to say it's like he knew before, but he didn't. We keep him in the dark, just like all of you. It's Anzu from Hinamatsuri winning the support girl of the year. Here are your full results for anime. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Support Girl of the Year, look at that. Election style, checkmark for Anzu from Hinobatsuri. Playlist coming in second place from Cells at Work. And third, Ryo Futaba from Rascal Bunny. Both Rascal Bunnies, third and fourth respectively. Yeah, they both made it on, uh, into the top five. The community really likes them. Uh, yes, I think. The community has been really excited about Rascal Bunny, especially since it was a recent anime. But Hinobatsuri, Anzu taking first place. Sixth place going to High Elf Archer, seventh. Hanako from Motoko and Ichigo taking 8th place. I, I love that animation sequence, I'm sorry, I just can't get enough of that. Uh, special thanks to our founder, Yuru, who made these lovely animation sequences because it feels like an election in a way. All slippy and slidey, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of it as well. Again, those are your top 10 support girl of the year respectively here on Anime Trending. I do find it amusing that we stopped listing them once we got to Ichigo. Indeed, the final two. <laughs> Thank you. 11 to 12th place, go. Uh, go from... Free, as well as 13 Kokoro from Darling Franks. 12, 12 is. Sorry, 12, from... excuse me, thank you very much. And the next category will be Support Male of the Year here on Anime Trending. Without further ado, here are your Support Male nominees. Alright, so first up we have. Auntie from SSSS Gridman. I, I I didn't watch this show. That is okay. Gobuta from oh, Gobuta. that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Oh, such a great comic relief character. Goro from Darling in the Franks. Uh, wow, I think he's probably gonna get it. Not gonna lie. Uh, we've got Kaoru Ijuin from Tara Never Falls in Love. Uh, Taro Kabakura from Wotakoi. It would be nice if he makes it on roughly the same. Point is his girlfriend. Uh, Sebastian from Overlord. From Overlord. Uh, Maki Seiji, Maki from, Seiji. Uh, from Bloom Into You. Oh, Bloom Into You was such a cute anime. Bloom Into You was amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Erwin Smith from Attack on Titan Season 3. 
Attack on Titan performing very, uh, making a lot of appearance here on Anime Trending. Ah, Shoto Todoroki from My Hero Academia Season 3. This is one of, not a whole lot of, uh, Hiroaka nominees this year. Not too much this year. Shorter Wong from Banana Fish. Oh, Shorter. Oh, Shorter Wong. My heart goes out to you. My heart, our hearts go out to him as well. Those are again your Support Man of the Year nominees here on Anime Trending. And a winner for Support Man of the Year goes to... Oh, he absolutely deserved it. Goro, Goro. is... Goro. Go bro. Go bro. <laughs> we released the chart. I remember that. The, it, was, it, was it, was it was Valentine's Day, Day right? Valentine's yes. Day, yes. Last Valentine's. Uh, where he took every single spot, which he absolutely deserved. We gave the Go Bro a spotlight. And of course, winning by over 139 votes. Second place is actually going to Tata Never Falls in Love, Kaoru. And Gobuta, third place. I oh, Gobuta might have a chance again this year. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Fine. He Gobuta's a sleeper character. Sleeper. I mean, he's he does a dark sleep. horse. Yeah. He's a dark horse. Fourth place going to Shoto Wong from the Banana Fish, and fifteen, Todoroki Shoto, gracing all these various animes. As it, well a lot as of character. a lot of variety in our nominees. Indeed. Sixth place going to Attack on Titan season three, Smith Irwin. Seven, Auntie from SSS Gridman. Eighth. Taoru from Motokoi and 9th Sebastian and 10th Seijimaki from Blue into you. I, I will admit, Noobles, your uh, your your name consistency is a little strange. You're, you're flip flopping <laughs> between Japanese order and American order. Indeed. My apologies. I am from the Americas. The 11th place going to Sirius Jaeger's Mikhail Jirov and 12th places Hataga Kontatsu Ramben and Enokida. He was a weird one. He was a fascinating character, but he does take 12 place here to support characters. If you have not so voted for your support girl and male of the year, it's seasonal. So if you have not voted in our character charts, that's what determines whether or not they make it into our top 10 finalists at the end of the year. So make sure you do vote for that while you're voting for your best boy and girl of the week. Next category is couple and ships times. Ah, ships. Yes. Battleships. Cargo ships. All the best ships. Um, I am a personally fan of uh, a very old show that has some pretty great CG ships, uh, and one person in Twitch chat I know has seen it as well. So, uh, Lord and Savior Helix Fossil, thank you so much for also having watched Arpeggio of Blue Steel. <laughs> He's a big fan of Arpeggio of Blue Steel. Without further ado, the actual couple and ships nominees are as follows. First one, Ash and Lynx, uh, I'm sorry, Ash and Eiji from Banana Fish. Hero and Zero Two from Darling the Franks. Masami and Akira from Love is Like After the Rain. Is that really a full title? I've always ever seen it as just After the Rain. Both is the title. Nishikata and Takagi from Karakai Jujo no Takagi-san. Jozuno Takagi no Takagi-san, thank you. Romeo, Romeo and Juliet, Juliet from Boarding, boarding school, school, Juliet. school Juliet. Not William Shakespeare, I'm sorry. Inspired by William Shakespeare. Sakata and Mai from Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Tada and Teresa from Boarding School. Uh, no, it's from Tada Never Falls oh, in Love. My apologies uh, for the typo there. Toko and Yu from Blooming to You. We have both a Yao ship, Yao like ship, and Yuri ship here on Amateur. Yeah, Yao and Yuri. Uh, Thank you very much. White Plus Cell and Red Plus Cell also. Also, not apparently from boarding school. No, they're from Cells at Work. <laughs> oh, it's been a long, long week here. Zach and Rachel from Angels of Death. Again, those are your, nomin uh, those are your nominees for Couple and Ships of the Year. As I like to reiterate, this is a hobby project and we try our best to be as professional as possible, so apologies for the typo. With so many rendering and limited After Effects, the most you can do here on Anime Trending. But without that, I mean, but again, it's without you guys, the community, we wouldn't be able to do it. So thank you again to the 800 plus people who tuned in, so. Yes. So Nubles, who do you think is going to be the winner? Can I have the Ash and Age you please? <laughs> you want to hear the chat pick? What's yeah, the chat pick? Uh, the chat thing is going to win. Really wants Nubles XD. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't think I agree with that. Before we get too carried away, here's secret, your winner for Cup Wins. Here's your winner for Cup Wins Ship of the Year, going to... Sakata and Mai from Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. They are a great pair from Rascal Bunny that does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. They had they had some pretty good dialogue. Um, they did indeed. And again, oh Ash Ag coming in second place, so close. I'm I'm, you know what, Toko and you top three. I'm down. I'm with it. Well, both Ash and Ag, Toko and you, wow, top three. So, 
It's not gonna lie, dude does take number one, but Ashen H you from Banana Fish and Toko Nyu from Blue into You. That's really great. This is a very powerhouse top three right there. Powerhouse top three. Hero and Zero Two from Don to Franks. And I'm 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 almost a little bit happy that Hero and Zero Two got beat out of the top three. <laughs> that Maybe your... that's just because I'm trying to be a hipster. That's you as the hipster. Nishikata and Takagi taking fifth and sixth. Romeo and Juliet from Boarding School. Romeo. Seventh, Zach and Rachel. Eighth, Tada and Teresa. Ninth, Masami and Akira. From After the Rain. At least the anime titles are correct on this uh, little video here. Yes. Fortunately, that is correct. Tenth place is Cell. Uh, excuse me. White Blood Cell and Red Blood Cell from Cells of Worth 11. Hi Hirotaka Hi and Narumi from Wotakoi. Thank you. And 12th place is Xiaoran and Sakura from Cardcaptor Sakura Clear Card Arc. They made that title really hard to pronounce. They did indeed. And we'll be releasing the full results on Anime Trending's website. Given the time, I know most of you guys are excited for a couple and shit, but... It's girl in the year, man of the year, I think. It, so. is, it is time for, I think, the most hotly debated categories, the ones with possibly the most votes aside from anime of the year that is correct as well as anime uh, of the year something so. that inspires the most discussion um, because waifu wars are real indeed here are your nominees again for girl of the year oh. sorry there we go start that video off from the start there we go my apologies violet evergarden from violet evergarden it must be easy when your name is the name of the show. That is very true. Karen from Soda Online Alternative Gun Gale, also known as Len in the game Gun Gale Online. Yuke from, from Bloom into you. you. Bloom into you. Hey! Oh my god, please. Uh, Juliet Persia from Boarding School Juliet. Redless Cell from Cells at Work. Historia from Attack on Titan, Titan Season 3. Probably a girl that captivated many people. My Sakura Jima from Does not, Does not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Thank you very much. Rika from SSS Gridman. SSSS Gridman, yes. Too many S's. Tai Yamada from Zombie Zombie Land, Land Saga. Saga. Oh my. Though we've seen the top two finalists. Oh no, sorry, Zero Two, my apologies. Dawn and the Franks as well. Again, those are your Girl of the Year nominees. We've seen the top 10 earlier for those who joined us, but if you haven't already, oh, wrong, wrong slide there. Girl of the Year, any questions, comments, concerns? Concerns? I, I mean, I don't really, I'm not sure if I have concerns. Uh, questions, uh, the only question I have is who won, and that's going to be answered real soon. Uh, comment wise, uh, I'm happy that Ty made it onto the nominee list i'm confused as to why but i'm not unhappy about it the community definitely enjoyed ty when the opportunity came for for her to, when she showed up so she definitely shined in the amateur awards and without further ado the winner for go of the year is going to my son from rascal does not dream of bunny girl senpai we will as we get through the results don't worry the, the mic is still hot indeed it is don't worry here are your results nominee for Best Girl of the Year here on Anime Trending. Ray Historia does take second place. Very close. That is 64 votes. That's a super that margin. Is less than... That's less than a percent here That's on like Anime Trending. That's like a bus. That's like one bus's worth. <laughs> there you go. We have one bus of people to go vote. Ray Historia might have won Girl of the Year. Attack on Titan uh, community definitely was very supportive of the show. Lot Evergarden taking third. Zero Two from Dino Franks taking fourth. And Len from Soda Online Alternative taking fifth. Six, Yamada Tai doing pretty well, not too bad in the top six. Juliet Persia from Boarding School Juliet takes seventh, with you taking Bloom into you from number eight and Red Blood Cell ninth, while Rika taking tenth from SSS Gridman. A lot of votes for a girl of the year, 20,458 individual votes from you. 28,000. Sorry, 28,000. Thank you very much. And here are your additional uh, Girls of the Year's. We had a very wide range of uh, characters. Makoto from Persona 5. Saki, third, 12th place. And you have Rachel Ray <laughs> taking 13th 
from Angel Beats. I'm sorry, Angels of Death. Angel. <laughs> Anzu, though, does, though Anzu won Support Girl of the Year, she takes 14th here on Girl of the Year and 15th Ryo Futaba from Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Oh, the list continues further. Uh, 16th place, Kaede Asuzagawa uh, from Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. 17th, uh, Sakura Minamoto from Zombie Land Saga. 18th goes to Futaba Sakura from Persona 5 The Animation. 19th place is Teresa Wagner from Tada Never Falls in Love. And 20th place goes to Yuzu Aihara from Citrus. That is indeed correct. I would hope so. <laughs> the list continues on for the final four. Uh, late by Camp Rin takes 21st. Uh, Nanesuko takes 22nd. 22nd. Yeah. Hina takes 23rd. And Hitomi takes 24th from Hina Matsuri. Wow, a lot of Girl of the Years. A, a lot, though I do think possibly latency effect might have something to do with... Uh... It's very possible Rescue Bunny, but then again, Attack on Titan... That's true. Very close. Titan, very, very close. Very, very close. So came out much earlier. Uh, it's now the man of the year. Man the boy. of the year. Best boy. Are you ready for the best boy? Uh, yeah, because uh, well, actually, I'm pretty sure everyone that's been watching the stream already knows who I want to win. So no point in reiterating <laughs> that. Uh, for those who have not joined us since the beginning, here are your man of the year nominees as follows. Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan Season 3. Isn't it pronounced Levi? Levi, thank you. Levi Ackerman. Like the jeans. I don't wear the jeans. Uh, so. Ren Amamiya from Persona 5, the animation. Sakata Azusagawa from Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Uh, we've got Isaac or Zach Foster from Angels of Death. I've only ever seen him as Zach. I didn't know his name was actually Isaac. Indeed. Uh, Masami Kondo from Love is Like After the Rain. Ash Links from Banana Fish. Kotaro Tatsumi from Zagunet Saga, James' favorite. Rimuru Tempest from That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Yes, he is still a man. He thinks like a man, therefore he's a man. White Blood Cell from Cells at Work. And Soma Yukihira from Food Wars, the third plate, 2018. Soma definitely dominated in past years, actually consistently taking. Yeah, his name came up a lot last year, uh, and then I totally forgot that he had a show that came out this year. Indeed, but the winner for Man of the Year will be going to... Volume here, actually, will be going to... The winner for Man of the Year goes to... Oh yeah! It goes to Kotaro Tatsumi from Zombieland Saga, voiced by Mom Rumiano. And here are your full results for Anime Trending's Man of the Year results here. Number one, going to Tatsumi Kotaro. Two, Ash Links. Again, I tell you, Banana Fish people, they're so close! That's pretty close too, 148-ish votes? That's uh, like two buses. <laughs> Sakuta, though not able to take number one with my son, takes third place. And Rimuru Tempest taking fourth. And Isaac Foster, so Isaac Zach Foster from Angels of Death taking fifth place. 28,782 votes cast for Man of the Year here on Anime Trending. Is that Ren, more or less than Girl of the Year? Good question, we'll find out at the end. Sixth place going to Persona 5's Ren, seventh place, Attack on Titan's Levi. Thank yes. you. Eighth is Soma, Food Wars, the third plate. So unfortunately, Soma not taking number one this year. Oh, excuse me. Ninth, White Blood Cell, and ten, Masamiya. Masamiya from After the Rain. Actually, consistently dominated his uh, season for Man of the Year, respectively. Rintaro Okabe san from Steinsky Zero. Zero, yeah. Kirito, Kazuta, uh, Kirito from Sword Online Outstation taking 12th. AG taking 13th from Banana Fish, and 14th is. Mitsuyoshi, excuse me, from Tata Never Falls In Love, and Izuka, Izuku Deku from My Hero Academia Season 3. Thank you for taking 15th place here on Anime Trending. 16th place going to Yujiro. Yujiro from Sword Online Alicization, 17th hero. 18th, Nishikata from Tagagi san, and 9th is Xiang Ming Lin from Hakata Tokansu Ramen, and 20th is Zhenji Banba, Banba. Banba from Hakata Tokansu Ramen. Those two anime, uh, those two taking the top of Man of the Year in the winter season, surprisingly. Yeah, it was uh, really interesting to watch them uh, in their show. 
And again, those are your top 20, uh, top 20 men of the year. Now, many uh, results. It's almost time, James. Are you ready? I'm, I'm, I, I mean, even if I'm not, I, we're still here. <laughs> we're still here. I need a quick one minute break, but when we return, anime movie of the year. Noobles, will you sing for them? I, I wish I could sing that well. We'll see maybe next year for our six anime training awards, but we'll be counting down the top 10 anime of the year. Anime of the year, and we'll be crowning here on Anime Trending the Anime of the Year for the best of 2018 here on the fifth Anime Trending Awards. Don't go too far. We'll take a quick short break because you, you heard his promise. Make sure to clip it so that he keeps it next year. Welcome back everyone to the 5th Anime Training Awards here on Facebook as well as Twitch. If you haven't joined our Discord yet, discord.gg slash anitrends, A-N-I-T-R-E-N-D-Z, as you've seen with everything that we've had here on Anime Trending. Yeah, uh, broadcasting, broadcasting live from the deep sea underground moon base. Uh, ooh, I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Don't look for us in Atlantis. Um, it's the Anime Training Awards and now it's time for, I think, the most anticipated definitely most anticipated before we get into the anime movie of the year we're going to count down for the top anime of the year nominees so without further ado here are your anime of the year nominees respectively a place for the universe by madhouse attack on titan season three wit studio Banana Fish from Studio Mappa. Bloom Into You by Studio Troika. Darling the Franks by A1 Pictures and Trigger. Laid Back Camp by Sea Station. Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, Cloverworks. Sword Online Alicization, A1 Pictures. Violet Evergarden by Kyoto Animation. Zombie Land Saga, Studio Mappa. Those are again your Anime of the Year nominees here on Anime Trending. We're taking, uh, I believe, our founder is hoping to join in our countdown to top 10 as we boil down to top 2 before we get into the Anime Movie of the Year. Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Or have we lost him? Hopefully, I think we may have lost him. His, his mic says that it's muted. You are muted, Dudu. Man, you hear us. Oh, unfortunately, yeah. barely. We can barely hear you. The audio is very quiet. Oh, hello. Hello, excellent. Welcome. We're beginning our countdown now here on Anime Trending. So, without further ado, our 10th place Anime of the Year countdown is as follows. Again, here are your top 10 Anime of the Year. 10th place will be coming up in a couple seconds in our beautiful graphics that we have here on Anime Trending. 10th place is going to Darren the Franks from A1 Pictures and Trigger. Ninth place is going to Attack on Titan Season 3 by Wit Studio.
Eighth place is Sword Online Alicization A1 Pictures. And the seventh place is Laid Back Camp from Sea Station. Sixth place is Bloom Into You by Studio Troika. Oh, the audio has stopped. My apologies. Need some nice place fancy music. Banana fish. Yes, fifth place is Banana Fish. Ah, we can hear it now. That is our founder. Do you making many of these graphics here on Anime Trending? Please wish him a big thank you because without him, we would not have these slick, awesome animations. Fourth place is going to Violet Evergarden by Kyoto Animation. Third place. Is building Go ahead. Bunny Girl Senpai. Yes, third place is going to Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai by Cloverworx. So that leaves us the final top two here on Anna Trending. Is Saga and a place further in the universe by Studio Madhouse. Holy shoot. Woo! Any predictions before we get into that? I want it to be Zombieland Saga, but I think it won't be. You never know, because Zombie Saga has taken quite a few awards. Zombieland Saga has gotten quite a few awards, so it, it could. Strictly goes to place further than the universe. Medi, our Discord as well as Twitch moderator, believes is going to a place further in the universe. Uh, Deirdre, what do you think it's going to go to? Personally, would like uh, Zombieland Saga to win. He personally believes Zombieland Saga should win. For me, I'm okay with either one. So I mean, I it's am already too. happy day. I, I am too. So I'm it's already like happy day. No matter what the result is, I'm already super excited. But before we get into that, uh, I think we need to address the big elephant in the room. Uh, Anime movie of the year nominees are now coming up. Yes. Chucky also says a place further than the universe. Chucky, our other editor who can join us tonight, believes it's a place for the universe. So those are your predictions here on Anime Trending. But before we get into the Anime of the Year winner, here are your Anime Movie of the Year nominees. It's movie time. Your first nominee is Fate Khalid Li Linear Prisma Ilia from. Second one is Second Fate series Fate Stay Night. Excuse me, Fate Stay Night Heaven's Field Part One Prestige Flower by Affordable. Our third one is Fireworks by Studio Chef. Three, take your marks from Kyoto Animation. This was the prequel film to the current Dive to the Future. I want to eat your pancreas by Studio Vaughn. This was a. Uh... Pretty recent. It's very recent indeed, but it came out from Japan last year. Listen to Bluebird by Kyoto Animation. When they weren't busy flexing on everybody with uh, Violet Evergarden. Makia, When the Promised Flower Blooms, PA Works. Aw, uh, yeah. Mary and the Witch's Flower by Studio Ponak. No Game, No Life Zero by Studio Madhouse. The Regular at Magic High School, the movie by Studio 8-Bit. And again, those are your Anime Movie of the Year nominees. It's been a very hot take between several animes here, especially Machia, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, Listen to Bluebird. It's very close. Um, I'm, I'm glad that Machia made it onto the nominations list for us. Um, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you very much, James. But yes... Those are your nominees for Anime Move of the Year, and without further ado, the winner for Anime Move of the Year goes to... Makia, When the Promised Flower Blooms, from PA Works. And with special permission from the licensors, the 11 Arts Anime Studio, here's the trailer for Makia. ヒビを追い続ける。ラ。ユアムシ。どうして泣いてるんだい。わからないんです。外の世界で出会いに触れたなら誰も愛してはいけない。愛すれば本当の一人になってしまう。一人ぼっちが一人ぼっちと出会
やがて剣をされ排除されていく私のヒビオルです俺じゃ守れないんだどうして時を進めた嘘つき弱虫あなたたちは死んでいくんだからみんないつかはこの日が来るんだみんな死んじゃうの一人ぼっちは生き方あなたが教えてくれたんだいろんな悲しいこと優しさを苦しいこと強さを私のことは忘れて人里を離れ布を折って暮らす彼らはこう呼ばれていた別れの一族と大丈夫絶対に忘れないから Special thanks again to Eleven Arts as well as Shout Factory, who has given us currently an anime sale that's currently occurring. If you use the code ATFREE, you get free shipping. In celebration of the Machia when the promised Flower Lands winner of the anime movie of the year, Shout Factory has partnered us with Anime Trending to bring you a big victory to all large scale of anime titles are now 40% off. In celebration, again, if you use the code ATFREE, you get a free shipping for those United States.、Uh, there's also a giveaway for the home,、uh, home release Blu ray and DVD for a silent voice, which will be released April 2nd. So do check out that sale right now. Special thanks to Shout Factory for helping us out with Maki as well as Eleven Arts for hooking us with that trailer. So, yeah. Gentlemen, Maki wins the anime of the year. I'm absolutely thrilled. I- <laughs> Let's see by how much of a margin because. A huge margin. Make it a landslide victory. That's what I want. Oh just- my! My. <sighs> By almost over almost 200 votes,、That's、taking first place. Still very close. No complaints here. Third、I'm、place. Somewhat surprised Liz and the Bluebird didn't make a better showing. I really owe it to myself to see it from what I've heard. Indeed. No Give No Life Zero taking third place, and I Want to Your Pain Chris taking second place. Fate Stay Night Heaven's Field Part 1 Pre Sage Flower coming in at fourth place.、Uh, and at fifth, we have Liz and the Bluebird. Six is Mary and the Witch's Flower. Fate Stay Night does have another chance with part two this year. I'm so, so excited for part two. Part two currently just actually North America premiered tonight in Los Angeles. Fireworks coming in seventh place. Excuse me, seventh place. And eighth place going to Free Take Your Marks. And ninth place coming in、uh, is The Irregular at Magic High School the Movie. Which we all actually had the chance to watch, which was not too bad actually. Some great Eurobeat soundtrack. Very good soundtrack, very good character designs on that one. Likewise as well. Coming to place is Fate Khalid Linear Prisma Ilia. Fate、Oath、Khalid Liner Prisma Ilia Oath Under Snow. And the 11th Napping Princess, which is also available in the Shout Factory sale right now that's happening. So if any of these titles sound interesting, most of them are on sale. Indeed. Again, don't forget the anime is still currently happening at Shout Factory. Thank you again to them for helping us out.、Uh, it's pretty awesome to celebrate Makia as well as the Blu ray and DVD release right now for Makia. But, gentlemen, that is the anime movie of the year. I think it is now time for anime of the year. We have anime the of、two. the year. Now we're gonna.、Woo! We're gonna. Wait, no, I already lost my money on that bet. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> A place for an universe, Madhouse, or Zombieland Saga by Studio Mappa. You guys in the chat, feel free to start spamming what you believe is potentially the winner. Because、uh, this is the biggest award here on anime trending. In past years, it has gone to. Last year. Last year was. Suki Ga Kere, the year before was Origaru Zoku. The year before that, I'm sorry, but the year before that was Natsume Book of Friends, then Origaru Zoku, and the first ever anime training awards was went to Zanki no Terra, Terra and Resonance. So, it's time. It Are you ready? Are you all ready? Even if I said no, you're still going to move it to the next slide. a lot of chat for a place for the universe. Well, and the chat's、out. correct! It's a place for the universe! Yeah, the winner is a place for the universe. Here are your full results for Anime of the Year. Place for New World is taking here on Anime Trending. Wow, Anime of the Year, that's,、uh, that's quite the title. But z a n g a n Saga, not coming, coming in、behind. by less than 100 votes. At second place, and Rascal Bunny in third place. Place for New World is by Madhouse, two by Mappa, and third. I don't recall the studio though. But Kyoto Animations, Violet Evergarden takes first, fourth place here on Anime Trending, Anime of the Year. Fifth place going to Banana Fish and six bloom into you. Isn't that a tie between fourth and fifth? Oh, you are correct. That is a tie. A tie. A tie. Not, like, not for first, but still a tie. It is still a tie. Fourth and fifth, respectively. Laidback Camp coming in seventh place. Seventh place, excuse me. I have trouble saying seventh. Eighth place going to Sword Online Alicization and ninth Attack on Titan Season, Season Three.
10th place going to Jonathan Franks as we announced earlier. Tada Never Falls In Love does go to 11th place. And Steins Gate Zero taking 12th place here for Anime of the Year. All these are great anime nonetheless. For they're all they're all they're all very good shows. They're all very good shows, so it's really exciting to see all these animes as nominees. Third place going to Orodoku, The World in Colors, 14th, Angels of Death, and 15, Cells at Work. So they're really good shows in their respective seasons, definitely performing well in their respective uh, areas. And this is I think our first time a winter anime actually doing so well here in anime trending for a place learning universe. Absolutely amazing. 16th place going to Hinamatsuri and 17th is Sword Online Al Alternative Gun Gale Online. Well gentlemen, again, that is your anime of the year here on Anime Trending. Thank you to all of our viewers so much for tuning in. Um, Thank you so much. Any final remarks for any of you guys before we depart? I am very tired. Thank you all so much everybody that tuned in. Uh, it means a lot to all of us. Uh, knowing that this work that we put in and the work that you guys put in becomes something and that people care about what we do. Uh, that is the validation I need in my life. <laughs> Without for again, on behalf of the Amateur Journey team, we'd like to thank you all for coming tonight on this live stream. Thank you for voting. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're super excited to already, you know, Sixth Anime Trending Awards are already in process. Vote right now for your currently airing shows. As Winter 2019 is currently kicking off very strongly with The Rising of the Shield Hero, The Promise of Our Land, Kaguya-sama, Mob Psycho 100, and I believe just one other show that I'm... Boogie Pop! And Boogie, Boogie Pop. Pop! Thanks for being a real and chill chat. It's been a pleasure, and watch Review Starlight. That is all. Watch Zombieland Saga! And with that, any final remarks, Stiru, our founder of Anime Trending? Any final remarks, Stiru, our remarks from Anime Trending? I uh, really would like to just uh, appreciate all of the uh, people uh, that uh, uh... Oh no, we've lost connection. Uh, he wishes to say thank you again, like on, be on behalf of everyone at Amateur Trending, it's, this could not be done without you and this is a great night to celebrate anime within our community and I still can't get behind that 33,000 plus different people voted for yeah. Anime of the Year. That's absolutely incredible. I believe that's an all-time high here in Anime Trending. So yeah. uh, I do see a comment in a uh, question in the chat of where do people go if they want to vote? If you want to go, you go to our anime, uh, anitrends.net, A-N-I-T-R-E-N-D-Z.net. That should bring you to our homepage, which has both Anime of the Week, Characters of the Week, Couple and Ships of the Week right now, and we'll be launching soon uh, soundtrack uh, opening and ending sequences, which are doing something a little special this year. Ooh, I like opening and ending sequences. And as a little secret surprise for everyone who's still here, coming April we'll be having some nice upgrades to our website, so do look forward to the futures. Uh, thank you again for all the feedback that have occurred. If you want more uh, behind the scenes information, go to discord.gg slash anitrends, A-N-I-T-R-E-N-D-Z. We'll also post the voting links as well if you want to participate in 2019, because the vote right now counts to Anime Training Awards 2020 for the six Anime Training Awards. And that's all. Thank you very much again. Uh, have a good night. And have a have a have a good night. Have a good afternoon. Uh, there is no day or night in space, so uh, have a good existence. We are open twenty four seven. Indeed. Bye. Thank you, everyone.